Coach, you guys seem to have an answer for everything they threw at you. What did you like about the way your group played? I thought from the first period, I thought we were really connected. Um, I liked our breakouts. Um, you know, I thought each line did something. Um, you know, fourth line, big goal. Obviously, Teddy's goal. Like, you know, Pete, like we, we, we had some good, some good plays from different lines. I liked our D. I, I mean, I just liked the overall game. That's, you know, that team's 13-3. and three. That's a hot team, and I thought... For the most part, we were we were really good tonight. You mentioned a couple of sleepy starts in the weekend. You, you thought you guys played with a purpose from opening puck drop tonight. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, we talked about that, um, and you know, you don't really have to say too much. I mean, I heard before I, you know, sometimes I go grab a coffee, and I heard some guys talking about make sure about our starts. I mean, that makes that coffee go down a little easier when you when you have your players saying that, right? So, no, they they uh, yeah, leadership group was great, and obviously. Casey was solid, you know, getting him in there and uh, another win for Casey. So, yeah, it was just, you know, one of those good games for us. I asked Petey about the chemistry, the quick chemistry with Pew Suter on that line, and he said, you know, he's traditionally a centerman, so that helps in terms of him knowing where Petey's going to be and things like that. Is that what you were hoping to get out of that line and that change? Yeah, I think just there's some hockey IQ with, uh, with suits there. Um, and you're right, and it's a little bit, I, I don't mind the hybrid, like, you know, Sometimes suits will go down low for Petey. It doesn't always have to be Petey. So uh, he made a hell of a play behind the net right to, to, to uh, Petey, too. Like, he knows where he is. So, yeah, they're getting some instant chemistry right now. This team is a perfect 19 wins when they have the lead heading into the final frame. Do you take pride in the way that the group is resilient and keeps the foot on the gas to finish the job there? Yeah, absolutely. I'm really, I really proud of the guys that are defensive. Just, I, I was watching... You know, sometimes we'll, you know, we get out of position, but not very often. Like, you can watch and guys are, I just like the way they play defense. You know, they're, they're protecting the middle. If we got to give a shot, we give the outside shot. Um, so I think that's really what I really like about this team is that they really, whether they enjoy it or they buy into it, they just love the way we defend the puck. And against this team here, I mean, they, 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 can, they have a lot of offense they can go, and I think we defended them really well tonight. Was our moment at the end of the first there when everybody kind of stopped playing except for Tomasino and your goaltender? Yeah, yeah, you got to play to the whistle. I mean, that's a learn. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. You got you got to play to the whistle. So, thank God, Casey made a hell of a save. What do you say about having a reliable backup like that because sometimes goalie plans are the best ones go to waste when you need a win. But not only is he getting in there, he's delivering. I mean, it's obviously a great. Patrick made an unreal trade getting him. Um, but you know, obviously, he stops the puck. He's a great. But I, I, his he's one of the most well liked guys in the room. He's uh, got a. I mean, he didn't start for two weeks. He's got a smile on his face. He's taking shots after practice. I mean, I mean that boosts the morale. And uh, Casey Smith is uh, is one of those guys, high character guy. He was old liner, scored off a uh, deflection. Yeah. Seems like that's been a trend in terms of how he scored goals this season. He also mentioned that compared to last season, he's spending less time in the corners and trying to be in those areas more. Have you noticed a big change in that this season? Yeah, we, we, we try to play a level offense with levels, and I think Hoggy's really taken it uh, this year. You know, if you watch him, very rarely just sits in the corner. He'll, he'll scoot to an area, and uh, he's tough to defend that little guy. You know, when he gets, he gets to those levels, you know, he gets underneath sticks and weather deflections. Even he gets underneath, uh, he's, he's had a couple of rebound goals where he's beat somebody to the net. So, I mean, those are the goals that uh, he can really get for us. Yep, definitely. Elias, you guys seem to have an answer for everything they threw at you. What did you like most about this group's effort tonight? Uh, I think it was a good, solid uh, 60 minutes from us. We talked about our starts, and, uh, and I think we came out came out strong. Uh, we defended well, and they made good in net again. And overall, uh, all players contributed and, and played well. What was going on in terms of the chemistry? Your second game playing with Pew Suter on your line. What's worked with you guys and helped you click so quickly? I mean, he, he makes plays. He's smart out there. Uh, I mean, he's a center normally, uh, so that helps me. I can be, uh, I don't have to worry or think about too much if I end up furthest up on the four check. He, he or Mick will track back for me. So, and I mean, today I think we, we played well. I think we played well in Chicago as well, but um, yeah, a step in the right direction today. They get within one, and then you scored two goals in 46 seconds. What did you guys talk about on the bench when they made that pushback? Uh, just uh, keep with it or stay with it. I mean, we uh, I liked our game, even though when they score, but just keep going. Don't let that uh, slow us down or get, give them any momentum. Uh, and then, yeah, very timely two goals as well. We seem to talk about it a lot, but now a perfect 19 
wins when you carry the lead into the final frame. What does that say about this group and, and the buy-in? Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, I think it's like now obviously we feel a lot comfortable playing with a lead and we're playing with, within our structure. Uh, keep getting it deep, very cliche, but that's what brings our Ox uh, success so far. Neil scored again tonight. He's been having a great year offensively, but also in terms of earning trust. And he's been out there late defending leads, moving up the lineup. I know you're close friends with him. How, how cool is it, has it been to see him really take that step? No, I mean, it's 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 fun. I mean, he, he works hard. Uh, he's always trying to get better. And uh, he's been scoring a lot of goals lately. And, um, and I mean, he's continuing learning. And it's good for him to get that trust and continue building to get a, become a better player.